You can see what it looks like right here, fully assembled. Really, really a nice bed frame. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be checking out the Zynus Metal Platform Bed with Headboard. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, we got the Zynus logo and branding. You can see the Trisha branding on this side. We have the king size version. You can see the full dimensions right there. This is available in twin, full, queen, and king sizes. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents, check it out. Up top, you can see all the wood that we have. Then you can see our metal framing for the bed. Down below, we have our product literature. So, typical design as products. We have an envelope that consists of two hello cards and a thank you card we can use. You can see we have a please read me. Then we have a really nice hardware kit with all the tools that we need. So you can see the additional tool that we have right here, the ratchet. Then we have our first instruction guide. So you can see that six steps on this side. We can flip it over and we have our final six steps on the back side. And then you can see we have our numbering system right here with no additional information on the back side. Now let's go ahead, let's get this assembled. So first up, you can see all the pieces we're gonna use. So we're gonna connect number one together. You can see we're matching that one with this one and we have our three S bolts right here. We're also gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna match two with two using three more of those S bolts. All right, there we go. You can see we have everything installed on both sides and we're ready to go on to the next step. So for the next step, you can see we're down here now with number three. We're gonna connect them together. So you can see the piece that we're using here with the piece that we just assembled. And we have the instruction guide right there showing us the exact same thing we're gonna do. So we're taking two of the four L bolts. We're gonna put them around this side and in. And then same thing on the other side, and you can see they're gonna to connect to the piece right here and fasten in place. So there we go, you can see everything's connected now. And we'll go look at the other side right here, same thing, so we just completed that step. Next up, you can see the piece we're gonna use, so it's five and six. So you can see it right here, and we're gonna use two S bolts on each side. You can see that, so we're gonna tighten those down for five and six. Now we're ready for the next step. You can see everything Mark 7 is what we're gonna be attaching right here. So eventually it's gonna to go to the nine mounts on both sides. But you can see the pieces that we're using right here and our seven and we're gonna connect everything in place. So this will come up underneath, line up with both the holes that you see here and we'll drop down these M bolts in place and tighten down. So you can see we got everything assembled right there and we're ready to go on to the next step. So we're gonna be using our two remaining M bolts and we'll be using them with the pieces marked eight. So you can see how we have that lined up and we're just gonna drop this bolt right down in and tighten. And we're also gonna do that on the other side as well. Now you can see we have everything tightened down and fastened in place and we're ready for the next step. So now we're gonna be taking that bar in the center and we're gonna be mounting it where it says nine on both sides. So you can see that right there. And we're gonna be using two of the four remaining S bolts on each side and that will use them up in this step. So there we go, we got the last piece assembled right there and we're ready for the last step which is just placing all the wood slats. There we go, you can see we have the fully installed bed frame right here, it looks great. The last remaining step is we have some non-slip tape that we can pull off and remove before we place our mattress on. But check it out, you can see we used all the included parts and pieces that gave us exactly what we needed, but thankfully they give us some extras as well. Really nice that they include those spare parts in the off chance that something is missing for you. Rest assured it should be right here if you need to use one of those. But check it out, you can see it right here. Looks really nice. See it from a different angle. All of the wood slats are actually Velcroed together, which was nice. So. I just start at the corner and then spread it out as you go. There's the headboard. So pretty low, use that outlet 
as an indicator to get a feel for the height of this. It's gonna sit very low to the floor. But there you go, you can see what it looks like right here, fully assembled. Really, really a nice bed frame. All right, so now you can see what the bed frame looks like with the king mattress set up on it. Everything looks and fits great as you would expect. This mattress just came out of the box, so it's still expanding some. We'll look at it from the side here. You can get a side profile and view of everything. But overall, really nice, high quality construction. Great finish to it, looks really cool. Great aesthetic as well. And in this particular case, you're probably looking at this bed frame because you want one that's low to the ground. So we don't have a box spring with this mattress so you can see what it's gonna look like. But keep in mind, you truly only have seven inches plus however tall your mattress is. In this case, this is a 12 inch mattress. So at the most, you're 19 inches off the floor. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for more traditional bed height, this is not gonna be the frame for you, but if you want that lower bed height, this is definitely one that you're gonna to wanna to check out, high quality construction. And there is still room on the sides. You can see we don't have a metal bar, so we do have room underneath here. If you have really small and tiny objects, you wanna store under the bed, but that is the one downside to a lower bed frame like this with that height. You just don't have as much storage underneath. But overall, count me impressed, really nice bed frame. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.